Good evening and happy holidays from Sweet Tea Shakespeare. T'was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their bed, with visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew with a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the old little driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the cursors they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples held merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of pipe he held in his teeth and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had broad face and a, a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and a right jolly elf. And when he laughed, I saw in spite of myself a wink of his eye and a twist of his head. Soon he gave to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside his nose, and gave a nod. Up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.